scorpions, the somehow more menacing looking relatives of spiders, with a venomous stinger and sharp, pinching claws, it's hard to imagine scorpions as anything else but dangerous creatures that are out to get us. But are scorpions really the impulsive and dangerous animals we make them out to be? I'm Mikey Green, and today we're exploring the dense woods of northern Georgia to see if this is really true. Out here in these upland forests lives one of the most infamous of all our North American scorpion species, the Southern Devil Scorpion, and my goal is to free handle one. But first, we need to find one, so let's head out into the woods and start looking. Alright children, we're in the woods right now trying to look for some rocks to flip that might be some good hiding spots for scorpions. Not just any scorpions, species of scorpions. Oh wow, check this out right here. Right underneath this rock right here is a huge colony of two different species of subterranean invertebrates. There are some termites that I don't really recognize what species they are, but there are also a huge colony of ants. These are the species of Phanogaster carolinensis, which is an ant that I don't see by me living in South Florida, but they are actually pretty common over here in Northern Georgia. And if you're wondering, hey Mikey, why are you getting so excited about seeing an ant colony if we're out here looking for scorpions? Well, seeing that there is a ton of invertebrate activity underneath these rocks and logs out here in this wooded area means that not only are there going to be a lot of small invertebrates underneath these rocks and logs, there are also going to be their larger invertebrate predators, and among those are the scorpions. So let's continue our searches, flipping more rocks and logs in this wooded area, and see if we can find any scorpions. This expansive habitat is full of places to flip for these scorpions, and after some more walking, I came across this pile of rocks that just looked too perfect to not have some sort of big predatory arthropod under it. So let's give it a shot. No way, no way, check this out. Right under here, there is a southern devil scorpion. Now, I'm going to try and safely and calmly take this out so we can take a close up look at this beautiful animal. All right, children, this absolutely gorgeous creature that I have here in this tube is the southern devil scorpion which is definitely by far the most common species of scorpion here in northern Georgia. And definitely the only scorpion species here that you would expect to find maybe in urban areas or close to your house. However, they mostly prefer like where we are right now in these deep, dark, shaded wooded areas where they spend most of their time hidden underneath cover to keep themselves dark and moist like logs and rocks. Now, I know that you know that scorpions are venomous but they are not aggressive. So, before we learn too much about the Southern Devil Scorpion, I'm gonna put it on my hand and let it crawl around a little bit. There we go. There is that scorpion. As you can see, it is sitting calmly and nicely on my hand. It is not moving at all, and as long as I'm not nervous, this scorpion won't be nervous either. All right, like I said earlier, this is the Southern Devil Scorpion, but don't let that name scare you at all. These creatures are nowhere near evil. You can see how it's just sitting on my hand, not even really moving much. These creatures are not out to get you, and while they can use their venomous sting, which is located at the end of that tail, which is known as a telson, they are significantly less likely to use that as a defense against you or a predator than it would to as offense. That stinger is mostly there to aid in catching prey. These southern devil scorpions are carnivorous, and while their diet consists of a variety of invertebrates, they mostly eat spiders. And you can see why these would be spending so much time underneath logs and rocks like where I found this one. Because darkness and moisture is not only really good for the scorpion's health, it is also good for hosting a variety of invertebrates like ants and spiders. So you can imagine that predatory invertebrates like the southern devil scorpion, as well as centipedes, would be having a field day underneath these rocks and logs, where it seems like every few rocks is just an absolute buffet of creatures for them to eat. Now, since their stinger is located all the way at the end of their abdomen, that could make it a bit tough for these scorpions to catch their prey. So that 
is where those pedipalps come in. Those claw-like structures at the front, which are known as pedipalps, are what these scorpions use to make the initial catch of their prey and to pin them down to the ground so that way they could swoop that venomous stinger around and sting it. They then use their actual mouth parts at the front, right in between the two pedipalps that are called chelicerae. In spiders, these chelicerae are where the venom is located. However, scorpions lack venom glands and their chelicerae. So besides the venomous sting, the rest of the damage this scorpion will do to its prey is purely mechanical. Just like spiders, scorpions are arachnids, so they have eight legs. Now you might be confused because of those claws at the front might look like an extra pair of legs, but the pedipalps are actually modified mouth parts, not true legs. Besides not having venomous chelicerae, scorpions also differ from spiders from having segmented plates on their abdomen, or epistosoma as it is known as. Spiders, on the other hand, only have one epistosoma segment, not a segmented epistosoma. As you can see, I am not doing anything to startle the scorpion, and throughout this entire presentation process, it has not moved once. If this doesn't show that scorpions are not out to get you, I don't know what will. Scorpions are extremely essential animals for these ecosystems, as they keep populations of many of the small invertebrates that live underneath rocks and logs and leaf litter around these ecosystems in check. And since this is pretty much the only scorpion that you could find in this region, and especially the only scorpion that you could find in these kinds of habitats, it is extremely important to make sure that these species are respected and left where they belong. And if one ends up in your house for whatever reason, there is no need to be afraid. This species especially, but scorpions in general, are not after you to sting you unless it's a last resort defense. And most likely if a scorpion sees you, it's gonna scurry off underneath some cover somewhere. Now I don't suggest just randomly picking up scorpions like this. If you don't handle them correctly and gently, it can use that stinger as a last minute defense against you. I think we've had enough time with the Southern Devil Scorpion. It's time to let it go right back where we found it under that rock. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here where we find this extremely strange alien looking creature that almost looks like a scorpion with wings, but in reality is something even weirder. Enjoy!